Hey everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a registered dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're teeth talking about how to prepare yourself early, like even in high school, for dental school or dental hygiene school. I've had lots of requests from students, specifically in high school, asking me what they should do if they're considering dental school or dental hygiene school, the dental field. What should they do? Where should they start? So first, before anything, I would recommend for you to call your dentist and schedule a day to shadow them. Whether you're interested in dentistry itself or dental hygiene or even dental assisting, a day of observing a dental office while they go about their normal work day is probably the most valuable thing you can do. I shadowed a few dentists, a few Few dental hygienists and even some dental assistants and that's where I actually started realizing I was super interested in dental hygiene which was something I never even thought about I always thought I wanted to be a dentist but that's just me right I've heard stories of people that had the opposite thing happen to them they wanted to be a dental hygienist and realized no actually I want to be a dentist so if you're interested in the dental field I recommend for you to not only shadow the job you think you're interested in but kind of check out what everyone's doing in the dental office there's nothing like seeing in person a day in the life of the job or career that you desire. Also make sure you shadow a few different offices, not just one, because like everything in life, each office will be different and the people in each office will be different. So don't base your life choices off of one dental office. Try to check out a few. If you're still like, okay, but I don't know where to start, what do I do? What I would advise is that you just call the dental office and say, hello, my name is so-and-so, I'm in high school and I'm super interested in the dental field. Do you think I could observe your office one day? It might be easier, of course, if you're already a patient there or if you know someone who works in the office, but you'd actually be surprised on how many offices are willing to let you shadow because you are a passionate, interested, high school student that wants to join the field one day. Okay, so that's that. My first thing I recommended was to observe a dental office. Second thing is to talk to your high school guidance counselor because they know everything about the schools in your area and pending if you're interested in dental school or dental hygiene school or even dental assisting programs, they can give you ideas onto what type of classes you should take in high school that can benefit you for each specific school in your area. Pro tip, science courses are always good for anyone who's interested in working in the healthcare field, especially biology and anatomy. So if you have the opportunity to take any special anatomy courses such as physiology or even kinesiology, take them. That's awesome if they're offered in your high school. All the science classes are good. Microbiology is a really great one too. Even chemistry classes and physics classes can help you a lot because science is the basis of medicine medical, healthcare, dentistry. So the hard science courses will help prepare you, especially if you wanna to go to dental school. Now, having said that, I've also been frequently asked the question, I'm not good at science, can I still be a dentist? Can I, if I'm not good at science, can I, you know, everyone is different, but I would say if you want something enough, you will do anything to get it, right? Just because chemistry doesn't come easy for you, doesn't mean you can't succeed in being a dentist. You can work extra hard, do well, and make it happen. You don't have to naturally be good at science. Will it make it easier if you are? Yes, but can you still get through it if it's not easy? Yes. Some other classes that may be valuable in helping you work with the general public in patient care are communications, you know, speech classes, sociology, psychology. So if any of those are available to you in high school, it can't hurt to take them. Lastly, if you specifically want to be a dentist and own your own practice one day, or even a dental hygienist and own your own practice, you can do that in some states. It would be super good to take a business course if that's available to you as well. Again, this video is intended for high school students. If you are in college and you're looking to take actual prerequisite courses, college courses for your intended dental hygiene school or your intended dental school, then you will need to check out each specific school to see what their admissions requirements are. Like say you want to attend University A for dental school, but you're also kind of interested in University B for dental school. Generally, the prerequisites are about the same, but there might be slight differences. Maybe University A requires two extra classes that University B doesn't. So always check each individual program requirements for college prerequisites. That's just a quick note for any college students watching. Anything you do in high school is just additional and preparing you for these college prereqs that you might be taking. But like I said, in conclusion, the most important best advice thing that I can give you to do in high school is to shadow a dental office. If you want to take courses to prepare you for college, taking science courses is always great because 
the health field is all based upon science. If you want to learn more about the differences between a dentist versus a dental hygienist versus a dental assistant, I will link those videos of mine below in the bottom bar so you can check those out. I talk about all the different college degrees and I also talk about the job requirements of each. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com. I have a search bar where you can search for a specific video topic so you're not scrolling through YouTube to see if I made a video on that topic. I make new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and until next time, peace, love, and teeth. Oh, I have a tooth right here. Teeth. There's also a tooth here too. First appearance of this cute little guy, huh? <laughs>